Okay, maybe a few words about Legrand. Legrand is a global specialist in uh, digital building infrastructure. So we're providing innovative services and uh, product to improve your lives uh, via different places, where we live, where we meet, where we work. Uh, I believe each of us is already a client or a user of Legrand's product or services. So you can find us in the sockets, in the switches, EV chargings, cable management, or uh, simply data center product. Uh, so today, uh, I'm not going to sell Legrand's product, not today anyway. We want to share a little bit our approach in terms of um, digital transformation with the leverage of generative AI. Well, we are convinced whatever effort that we make in our technology transformation, all the things that we do would be outdated, would be has been. For those who have already driven um, ERP transformation, deployment of CRM, after the go live of your system, you can, well, wait for another five years, 10 years for the system to stay relevant. But today, with generative AI, sometimes the architecture that we build will get outdated in two weeks or a month. So we believe that it's not the, the technology that will keep the company relevant, but the confidence that we create in our people to be able to drive those technology that will make the company relevant in the next five years, 10 years, 50 years. So we started our transformation via AI technology by creating culture within our people. Uh, I believe we are lucky because we have a top management very curious about this new technology. We spent a whole day with the, with the COMEX to talk about generative AI, what is this technology, and how that can help us to create value in our daily operations in the different areas of our business. And then we worked with almost all the business entity has to understand their business pain point and how AI, generative AI, can create value for them. And today, we mobilized more than 500 people across the, the globe, across the organizations, who actively contributed to the definition and identification of the different business use cases, the different features. But, well, having identified those features, those business use cases, is nice. But how about packaging them into an industrialized application so that we can create a consistent benefits for the entire company. So that's where I'm going to let Julien, who helped us a, a lot, to present the two most significant AI babies that we have created for the past two years. Julien. Thank you, Vincent. So indeed, we have created two Gen AI products. So we've been working on that for the past year, I think. So the first one is called Elia. Elia is a Gen AI agent that is used by uh, customer support or sales within Legrand. So this is the first step. Of course, the second step will be, uh, when it's gonna be industrialized, to open this tool to external users like you, like me, like installers, for instance. But today, uh, so this is, I, I will show you how it works. You can ask any kind of questions about any kind of products, and it will give you information how it works, uh, what's in it, how to install it, uh, if it fits with other products, and so on. So this is the first one. The second one is called Gaia. So I presume if you're working in a company where you have products, you might have a product referential, uh, whether it is uh, MDM or a PIM, product information management, you should have this kind of things or um, equivalents. So um, when we started this project, uh, we had one major pain point, which was we had the product sheets that were not complete enough to sell the product and mostly on the marketing content. So we had mostly technical content on the product, but we were lacking marketing content. So this is where GenAI comes in. It's super easy and quick, and, and quick to generate marketing content based on several rules. And so where um, we used to spend quite some time with a lot of people, manual action to complete these product sheets, now with a, one click, we can generate all the products, all the, the content for, um, for a product. And uh, by the way, maybe some basic information about our database to manage the product the data. We have about 300,000 references uh, in our PIM database. 
and we are operating in over 200 countries with about 40 languages spoken. So imagine the effort that we would need to put in this PIM database to generate, well, to create enriched marketing content. And today, with generative AI, we can say it can be done overnight. Okay, so we have two videos. I wanted to show you how it works. So the first one is Elia. So this is the, um, the, fame, the, the chatbot for customer support and sales assistance. So you will see Lou, who is uh, our amazing uh, product owner for, uh, for this, um, this project, will stamp into the shoes of a customer support agent receiving a call from a customer. And so the customer is going to ask questions about product, and so she will try to, to help him. Okay? I am a customer advisor. I am being called by an end user. He's talking about an entry door system, the Portier Easy Kit. I'm going to check the references. The first one is the Easy Kit in white, the 369420. The second one is the same one in black. I'm going to check with my customer which color he has. He has it in white. I know the reference, this is the 369420, and I'm going to check all documents available about this project. It's going to help me because I will have everything in one place. Oh, he has a question. I'm not sure about the answer, so I'm going to check with Elia. The question is, is it possible to use this product in a house with two floors? Yes, it's possible. Uh, he's asking me something, I'm not sure as well, uh, how to install this product. So I'm going to check with Elia. OK, so I can see the instructions and I can answer my customer. The call is over. My client is happy. Thank you, Elia. So yeah, here is the first one. This is the first product. So the cool thing that you saw is that Lou is interacting with the product vocally. So of course you can you can type any kind of questions. So this is the same way when you use ChatGPT because yeah, this is ChatGPT behind on a private instance. But you can also talk to the product, which is quite handy when you have someone uh, on on a call. Yeah, and the the magic thing is that well, Elia speaks all kind of languages natively. Uh, I've been traveling to a lot of our countries uh, where we don't really speak uh, English. I was in Czech, uh, Republic Czech. I was in uh, India as well. I asked the same question, and I forced Elia to answer in the local language, and that worked pretty well, validated by the local teams. So I'm going to show you the second one. So the second one is Gaia. I told you this is the one to generate marketing content. And um, so we are in a context where, so Alexandra was the product owner for this project. And so she will step into the shoes of a data manager who is supposed to generate this content. And so data managers are sitting in different locations. You have some in France, you have some in other, we have 90 countries, I think, uh, at Legon. So, and as Vincent said, sometimes we have also different languages. So in this case, we're just in English, but it works like in any kind of languages. So Alexandra is going to generate uh, content automatically for products. Hey, let's see what this product data quality tool can do for us. First of all, I need to sign in with my Logan email. Here we are. And now we can access all the functionalities. So let's try first with Spoke Data Scope, uh, which means we already have a bunch of products available for testing here. So. I'm a SBU marketing uh, manager, so I select group here. Now I already have a product ID that I want to test here. So let's go. Let's see what it does. Okay, so we can see it's a camera. We can see we have the SBU characteristics that are already existing. And then the technical data. Now we need to generate the marketing content. So what can we do? Well. Let's first do it for the 80 and 240 descriptions. Generate. Oh, great. I can see I can compare existing content when you have existing content with the generated one. That's nice. 
We can already see here for the 80 character description that is way shorter than the generating one. Now we have a question. We are usually working on entire product ranges, meaning batches of hundreds of products. Do we have to do it one by one? Well, the answer is no, fortunately. So what you have to do if you want to work on batches of product, of your product, um, well, you have to go and upload your data. Here we are. You can remain as group because I'm still a SBU marketing uh, manager. So marketing data first. And no, technical data. Now, what you can see is the data you have uh, uploaded here. So we can see we have the product ID. Uh, we have the 80 character description, March family, and then all the columns are empty. What do we want to do? Well, let's do it all. Generate SVU descriptions. And once ready, you receive this kind of Excel uh, with the existing content, so product ID and um, 80 uh, character description, and the generated one, so you can compare. And as you could see, all the other columns were empty. So here, then, you have all the generated content. Uh, you just have to uh, review, rework like you want, and uh, send it into the PIM. There we go. So um, one key thing is all these things are, of course, technical projects. But as you, you said, Vincent, we have worked closely with the business because these tools are used by business people, OK? Data managers or business people. So here is a small video also like with all the feedbacks from the business teams we've worked with. Imagine an assistant capable of instantly answering your questions about the products in the Legrand catalogue, engaging in conversation to refine your needs and provide a personalised response that meets your requirements. Also, imagine that this assistant is capable of writing content for sales managers and communication managers. We named this assistant Ilya and we invite you to discover it through testimonials. But first, how does it work? Esti will explain. Elia is an artificial intelligence that uses an LLM, a large language model just like HLGPT that you are familiar with. She adds an internal knowledge source Legrand, which consists of our technical and marketing product data. Thanks to this, Elia is able to understand and interpret user questions, retrieve information from its knowledge sources, and provide relevant answers to our users. Elia will help our sales teams build an argument based on the customer's profile that challenges them. A rather technical argument for professionals and an argument more based on usage for a particular client. Elia will help us be more responsive and expert while gaining efficiency and response time for the client. Elia helped us increase productivity in content writing, which in turn allows the web pages of the grand to be better referenced. In my opinion, there is a real potential to assist non-expert customer advisors. This bot enables quick and efficient support by providing necessary documents or technical info to meet clients' needs. It ensures an initial response is provided to the client in 100% of cases. The Gaia tool, Gaia short for Generative AI Agency, was designed to assist our marketing and R&D teams in creating content for life. We kept our content creation processes and simply added a tool to enhance the efficiency of our studies. The initial results are very promising and to learn more, I suggest listening to our main users. The arrival of such a tool will greatly assist us in producing quality data more rapidly in multiple languages and as a result, accelerate deployments. The way of doing business today is no longer the same as it was a few years ago and to continue satisfying increasingly demanding customers in terms of information transparency, we need to create the most comprehensive and understandable product content possible. Gaia then becomes a real asset to help Legrand teams best meet market expectations. The Gaia tool allows for a more comprehensive combination and uniformity in the generated results in French or in English. Given the increasing volume of data to manage and generate, the new assistance of generative AI, and more specifically the tools Gaia and Elia, are indeed very promising and ultimately already indispensable. Okay, so maybe to make the closing, just a few words about our journey. Um, as, 
Every one of you, we have started our journey to explore the generative AI technology around the, the beginning of 2023. And we have decided to, uh, to launch the first a few box to see could generative AI create really some impact on, on the field. So we started with a small box on dynamic pricing. So in, we injected with our sales data for the past two years for the key product uh, sold in France. We injected also the macroeconomic data into this model to help us to predict the future how the change in the pricing can impact the volume so that we can maximize the performance of our business. And of course, we started the first chatbot within our business to help to provide relevant um, answers to our client about our product, which is becoming today the alia that you have just, uh, just the thing. And uh, with the top management and with the business, we have confirmed a long list of priorities that we want to deliver especially the two products that you have just the same. So today, we have confirmed our ambition, uh, the idea is to push this asset to the globe so that every business team within our organization can benefit, to, um, can benefit these tools. And as you are all customers of Legrand, maybe one day you will also be users to those two AI products. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you for staying with us. Bon appétit, and have an amazing day.